www.thestrategy.com. Hi, this is Chris again, looking at the upcoming Wednesday, October 29th trading session. As you can see, um, I have the economic calendar in front of you again. And the, um, the economic calendar is actually pretty light, uh, with the exception of one massive uh, announcement, and that is the FMOC statement and the Fed Funds target rate. Now, no um, really expected uh, move as far as interest rates are concerned, but it's the statement that will move the market because, quite frankly, it will determine whether or not uh, the Federal Reserve is getting close to cutting interest rates, and that, of course, could move the stock market uh, in the United States as well as the U.S. dollar. Uh, the Kiwis have an interest rate decision, and that could be interesting with their statement based upon what they uh, think out of Wellington as far as the global economy is concerned. But truthfully, uh, that at best will be a knock-on effect if there's some kind of massive um, surprise. Really don't expect much as they believe that the Kiwi dollar is overvalued. So I can't imagine that they would do anything to raise rates, bring the value up. So. Uh, if anything, they would cut rates, but that's not even anticipated as well. Looking at the euro, US dollar, you can see um, that we did in fact try to rally during the uh, course of the session on Tuesday, but I still see the 128 level as a significant barrier that extends all the way to 130, so I'm looking for um, some type of resistive candle in this area in order to uh, start buying puts again. I, I think that perhaps the statement coming out of the FMOC could be the catalyst. Either way though, technically there is a big barrier here. So I have no interest in buying calls. Uh, I am looking for a put buying opportunity. You can see that the S&P 500 did rally um, during the session um, on Tuesday, we're still below 1980 uh, though, so there is the uh, uh, possibility we'd find a little bit of resistance there. It really, it's going to come down to the statement, in my opinion. Pullbacks here should offer buying opportunities for calls. No interest in selling or buying puts at this point in time because, quite frankly, this move, you know, moves like this don't happen uh, by accident. So we are at an inflection point. It'll be interesting to see how this day shakes out. I'm looking for a supportive candle below or a move above 1980 to start buying calls again. Silver markets continue to be put buying uh, opportunities waiting to happen. You can see that we rallied during the day and fell to form a shooting star. The shooting star sits right at 17 and I think we're going to continue to find 17 to 1750 to be the area that we trade in. But uh, that's not to say that there aren't trading opportunities. When you look at the 30 minute chart, for example, you definitely see it or maybe even a one hour chart, you can see we got close to 1740 or so and then sold off. 17 should offer support and we should continue to rise. At this moment in time, I don't anticipate much movement unless the interest rate statement suggests that the Federal Reserve is getting closer to raising rates or at least stepping away from quantitative easing altogether and therefore letting the market take care of itself. If that's the case, we could see the breakdown in silver that we're anticipating. Ultimately, I feel much more comfortable buying puts at higher levels, uh, but a breakdown below 17 would also have me buying puts. With that, I've taken a look at the Wednesday, October 29th trading session.